Good morning, YouTube. We're back on site. It is, what day is today? Tuesday. It's Tuesday morning. We got all the machines out. Let's take a peek. Oh, there's a six ton Mini X. We're bringing that out. There's Bogdan on the ditch witch. We got two trucks on the road. One, and then there's another behind them. And this is the project. Let's come in and take a peek real quick and show you. So as you see, this is the project. We're walking in. We're walking in. Pretty much this entire backyard is getting stripped out. All of it. That staircase is coming down. And then this is our pool excavation lines. Again, it's over dug just so we have room to work with on the outside of the pool. But nonetheless, that's the over excavation dig. And yeah, it's just a whole lot of blank canvas as you can see. Let me flip you boys back around. This one is going to be absolutely amazing. I think we're naming this one something along the lines of uh, the Casa Lux project, something like that. We might not actually name it, but we'll see. level that's shooting all the way across now we are going to benchmark off of that point he's got it benchmarked and let's zoom that out so that benchmark is now top of patio we go up what are you going up now um, four feet, two, three eighths, and then an inch and a half as well because we're adding the track system. Update. We're kind of just waiting around ooh, for the dump trucks and I'm about to break my leg um, But if you see here, we have a pool hole that started everything else is excavated this whole backyard Like I've said before is getting dug out um, And yeah, just a little bit of a midday update for you guys just showing you the progress showing you what it looks like I guess a day in the life type of thing We'll be digging here till probably like five six just like I said waiting on that dump truck to come back So I thought I'd record this for you guys <laughs>
morning, YouTube. We're back on site. It is Wednesday morning, and let me take you in the backyard again. We're probably going to be doing a similar entry point. Oh, I got to get that nice cinematic hidden. Ooh, smooth. All right, all jokes aside, this is what we got going on here. This is a trench because we have our electrical and our equipment pad over here. So we need to A, run our plumbing to the pool, and then B, this pool actually gets an automated cover, meaning it has tracks, a motor and everything, and that way it slides closed and slides open. Now that is also a safety cover as well as a solar cover. So in the winter, we can actually close this off. Um, and if they were ballsy enough to turn up the heater and want to use it, they could just retract it and go for a nice hot swim, close it, turn it off. So that's why we have this line trenched is so we could get our plumbing to our equipment pad and then we can also run electrical to feed the motor. That way that is all done. Um, again, another retaining wall on this project. If I show you guys around here, you can see how the backyard slope goes down. So we need to correct that with the retaining wall. That way everything we do is nice and level. There's a retaining wall in there. We got our pool hole. Pool hole is, let's get a nice smooth action again. Ooh, yeah. Pool on this one is 15 wide by 22 feet long. Um, three foot shallow end over here. And then over here is a six foot deep end. As you can see, there's already water. YouTube here's a little bit of a progress update just explaining what we got going on so right in front of me we have our laser level if you can see the laser level it's always shooting and spinning a line perfectly out and that's important for a few reasons that allows us to check different points of elevation where they are comparative to one another um, and then obviously when you're setting a pool you can't have you know your pool sitting all the way up or so low in the ground that you know, you see a bunch of dirt everywhere. You have to find the sweet spot for it. So what we're doing now is we are benchmarking this wall. This retaining wall here is pretty much the level of the patio. And we are taking this height and transferring it on the grade rod. If you can check that out. Zoom in, bang. So we now have an established height. Let's say this is the height. And we now need to measure down in order to make sure that our pool floor is done properly. This is extremely crucial, extremely, extremely crucial is making sure your elevations are set properly because if not, your pool and your patio aren't gonna line up and you can screw everything up. So it's extremely important to make sure you're taking your time, you're doing it very nice, well precise. Um, and we'll kind of explain how we got and what we got going on. So right here, like I said, that is the benchmark. That is just a relative point in space, and we are going to start measuring down. So our shallow end is three feet. So from there, we'll need to add three feet and then make a mark there. If you want to add that three feet. Let's 
And then from that three feet, we also need six inches of three quarter clear, which is just the base. And then we also need to add another six inches for the thickness of the concrete. So now we have elevation set. What we're gonna do? See like my grandpa. Oh, you're right. No, that's okay. What you're doing? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that grade rod. We're going to go down there and we're going to check everywhere. That way we can start building up in layers. Like I said, that way when we're all the way up and our pool is built, our pool matches exactly where our patio is going. I hope that made sense. I know it could be a little confusing without some sort of animation or representation, so my apologies for that. But I'm just trying to show you guys a little bit of progress on this project. And now that we got some clear stone in the pool hole, what we're gonna be doing now is taking this plate tamper, thousand pound plate tamper. We're going to be picking it up with the mini excavator right over there. And we're going to be placing it in the pool hole. Then we're gonna be tamping everything, tamping everything, making sure that it's nice and solid. And then we're going to raise another layer of three quarter clear and tamp everything. Um, I like to try to tamp things sometimes in two layers. So we'll do, instead of full six inches and in compacting everything, we'll do three inches, compact it, and three inches and in compact it. Again, there's a little bit of nuisance to why we're doing that. Um, but check it out. End of day update, pool is ready. We got the rebar, the forms, the insulation for under the concrete so we can insulate the pool water. We got the concrete guy over there staring at me, the pump truck driver over there staring at me, and we got the pump all the way up in the air. Hey.